Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Express video. Today we're gonna talk about Aurora Fravia. Uh, I know I have a hard time saying that name, but whatever. We're gonna talk about her because uh, I gotta say guys, she is one amazing unit. Um, and we're gonna talk about her stats and everything that she's able to do. So, we're gonna go over the Trustmaster, Fravia suit, uh, basically uh, a clothing piece of clothing attack 30 defense 1 magic 30 spirit 1 and attack and magic plus 10 percent and increases your life resistance by 30 percent or super tmr so if you guys are lucky and you're able to pull four of her uh it's really really strong it's a sword it's a two-handed sword attack 160 magic 120 mp 20 percent and she has a damage range between 105 percent and 155 percent with 50% accuracy so this thing is really really nice and uh, with that sword she's gonna be able to deal a lot of damage so we're gonna go over her stuff right here obviously for the equipment she's not able to equip a lot of things like a uh, regular Frigia but the sword you guys just put her hybrid sword and she's gonna be more than fine with it uh, for the armor well basically you guys can see everything right here that she's able to equip but we're gonna go over the move uh, the ability especially uh, especially and you guys will see how strong she can really be so she has flash luster we're just gonna go over the flash move so she has double flash where every flash move you're gonna be able to double cast which is really really nice and it's pretty standard for most most chainers uh, nowadays so flash luster has light element to it light hybrid damage four times to all enemies it's a one hit move 30 MP at add light element to physical attack for five turns to cast her. So this is not bad. She has purge, hybrid damage to one enemy, remove all status effects for one enemy. So pretty good. She's able to dispel one enemy. Then she has flash brilliance, hybrid damage four times to one enemy. It recovers 75 MP to cast her, which is really really nice. And it chains with absolute mirror of equity. Really cool. Like I said, she has double flash, healing radiance. Recover 2000 HP to caster, enable skills for 2 turns, she's enabling triple flash. So triple flash you're going to be able to uh, basically do triple chains and that thing could do a lot of damage guys. Uh, she's going to be heavy on the MP because you guys can see her moves are taking a lot of MP. But nonetheless, these are really really cool moves. Then, she has flash dazzle, hybrid damage 9 times to all enemy, inflict blind and confuse 30% to all enemy, 12 hit move, chains with onion slice, 40 MP. Then she has Flash Endless Punishment. This is really cool. Hybrid damage 5.5 times to all enemy. It's a 30 hit move, 75 MP, and it chains with Oriole Ray. So if you guys have your Lunaras, is it Lunara? Yeah, Lunara. If you guys have your Lunaras ready, and in the future, you will a be able to chain with Mester Axstar. Because Axstar is going to be able to do the Oriole Ray, and trust me, the amount of chaining that this does, it's insane because I do it on the, J, uh, the JP version and sometimes my chaining goes up to like 169 if you have 3 characters being able to chain with Oriole Ray. So this thing is insane. Then, whenever you get her 7 star, that's the little part that sucks a little bit to uh, basically be able to chain with Divine Ruination. But nonetheless, really really good. Flash Furious Radiance, Light Hybrid Damage 12 times to one enemy. Uh, decrease light resistance by 100% for 3 turns to 1 enemy and it chains with Divine Ruination. The only ick that you guys can see in the move, uh, she basically has no chain finish at the end. So most of physical damage dealers like Heal, uh, Jet, we're gonna go with Sora, Kingdom Heart, Clouds, all these guys, the last hit of their chain, so basically it's 6 plus 1, uh, basically chains finish. So with her, you have none of that. So basically you won't be able to chain finish your hit. But the chain is really, really high and really, really strong. Because you guys can see the modifiers right here are really, really high. And uh, the decreased light resistance by 100% for 3 turns to 1 enemy. That's really, really, really strong. Uh, and you don't need to put her an element sword. Because basically the move flash first radiance has light element attached to it. So this thing is really, really good. So she's going to be able to deal a lot of damage. But in the future, guys, uh, Axstar is going to be the man. Because you guys will see the amount of damage that Axstar could do. Uh, then she has Gift of Daylight, enable skill for 4 turn, triple flash, increase attack and magic 200% for, uh, for 3 turns to the caster, and it cannot be dispelled. So this is really really cool, so for 3 turns, your attack and magic is boosted by 200% and it won't be dispelled. So this is really really nice, and restore HP 
by 100% for uh, to the caster, which is really cool. Then our last move, first light, four turn cooldown, available on turn four. This is gonna be really strong. Hybrid damage, 40 times multiplier to all enemies. It's a one hit move and it's 120 MP. So a little bit like Kurosami, which uh, he has one move like that and it's I think 54 times multiplier. Uh, this is really, really insane. So if you build the chain and you just decide to finish the chain with that move, uh, this is really, really good. So not bad at all, Mrs. Aura Fravia. You're one hell of a unit. We're gonna keep going. Pride of Fravia, increase attack and magic by 30% when equipped with a sword, increase MP 30%. This is really cool. I love when they put this on the damage dealers. Increase resistance to blind sleep, paralyze, confuse, and petrify. So these last three are really, really nice to have on her. Uh, true dual dispose, increase equipment, uh, attack and magic by 50%, and accuracy by 25%. When a single weapon is equipped in any, uh, when a single weapon is equipped, then. Increase physical evasion and magic evasion by 20%. Pretty cool, just in case. Uh, Master Duelist attack and magic 40%. Shining Rays, another 30% in attack plus 30% in HP. Enemy of the Night, increase physical and magic damage against demons and undead monsters. So she has that passive killer ability in her, which makes her e deal even more damage than Wrath of the Light. Chance to counter physical attacks with Wrath of the Life, basically enable skill for one turn, triple flash, increase attack and magic, 50% for one turn to caster and cannot be dispelled, which is not that bad, just in case you get dispelled and uh, your whole party gets dispelled and this kicks in, could be pretty good just to get that extra 50% in attack and magic, which is pretty nice. Then at 1-1, Light Streak, so whenever she's equipped with her own TMR, increase attack and magic by 20%, Increase equipment attack and magic by 50% and accuracy by another 15% so you guys can see that her attack and magic is going up really really fast 25% when single uh, wielding any weapon increase LB gauge fill rate by 50% Auto cast triple flash at the start of the battle which is really really nice so right at the start if you're fighting let's say a raid boss and uh, somehow you have three Aurora Fervias in your party well, the amount of damage you can deal on turn 1 is insane. Then she has Knowledge of the Past, increase magic by 30%, auto cast Blade of the Past every turn if Rivia is alive. So yesterday, if you guys saw the video I did, uh, I was ta talking about the fact that if you have Rivia and Aura of Rivia in the same, uh, in the same party, basically they unlock an extra skill, and this is the extra skill. Blade of the Past. We're gonna go over the move right away after. So, autocast Blade of the Past every turn if Fravia is alive. Pretty good. Then she has increase in SPR 20% and increase light resistance by 30%. Really nice. Then the last one, Daybringer. Increase equipment, attack, and magic by 30% again. So, you guys are gonna be able to max her out real fast. And accuracy by 25% when single uh, wielding any weapon. Increase modifier on Flash Brilliance, Flash Dazzle, Flash Endless, Punishment, and Flash Furious Radiance, and Flash Luster. So basically, you get that extra uh, two times multiplier on all these moves, which you will be doing a little bit more damage. So yeah, this is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna go over the move, Blade of the Past. So basically, Aurora Storm, this is the move that you get whenever Aurora, Fravia, and Fravia are in the same party. It chains with Disorder. Basically, Disorder, we're gonna go right here, bam. You guys can chain with Kurosami. So if you have all three characters in your party, you guys can chain all three characters together. And the way it works, Aurora Storm, it's basically hybrid, uh, ice and light. So basically this is really cool. Uh, you get two elements on the same time, so you guys can uh, element chain and it's gonna be dealing a little bit more damage. So 10 hit, 70 MP. Uh, her moves are costing a lot of MP, but hopefully if you guys uh, if you guys have a good MP battery in your team, you're gonna be more than all right. Then her magic, nothing crazy. Banishiga, uh, yeah, Banishga, light magic damage, 1.8 with SPR scaling, not that great. And Oli, not that great either. But she's there to do a lot of damage with her hybrid moves, and uh, she she brings the package. So, judge and jury, whenever you max out or limit burst, hybrid damage 27.2 times to all enemies. Enable skill for two turns, triple flash. It's 14 hits, 30 uh, crystal co uh, thirty crystal cost, and uh, it's not that bad, not that bad. So, guys, once again, I just want to read the stats so you guys can uh, make up your mind. If you want to pull for her, 
Axstar won't be coming out in the next month or in the next two months. I think it's gonna be out by June or maybe July because there's still a lot of characters that have to come out before you come out. Uh, there's still Xenogears. I know a lot of people want to save up for Xenogears uh, and by all means, it's all your choice. Uh, I'm pretty sure this girl right here is gonna be in the summon pool uh, for the longest time. She's always gonna be there. So if you guys don't wanna pull for her, don't do it. Keep your stuff. Keep your stuff for Xenogears because a lot. I know a lot of you guys are like, hoard for Xenogears. But uh, once again, I just wanted to read the stats. I looked at Mira. Uh, not for anything. She's not that crazy. Uh, I look fast, fast. Her moves are not not that crazy. We can go over right now, actually. So where's Mira? Mira. We're gonna go over. She's like a hybrid buffer and a hybrid healer. Nothing crazy. I was looking at her moves. Basically, if you want a good buffer, use Zargabat or CG Nicole. Uh, I'm just gonna leave the stuff here if you guys wanna read it a little bit along. Uh, yeah, so if you guys want a good buffer, go with CG Nicole or Zargabat. I'm not gonna start a battle between who's the best, because a lot of people are trying to beat me up saying that Zargabat is the best buffer. So I'm just gonna leave it out there that Zargabat and Nicole are neck to neck. Alright, I'm just gonna leave it out there. And for healers, well, obviously, if you got a Yaka 7 star, or a Folka 7 star, or even CG Fina 7 star, I don't think that you need to pull for her. She has okay moves. Uh, a lot of things are hidden behind casting a move, then you're gonna be able to cast it on the second turn or the third turn. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that because it really takes a long time. As if you want Zargbat, or Nicole, you just, you know what, turn one, bam, boost everybody up by, let's say, 140%, and you're good to go. Uh, so, Earth Things right here, not that bad, not that crazy. For me, the real gem on this banner is going to be, whoop, is going to be my girl, Aurora Fravia, right here. I'm going to be pulling for her, because I don't need no healer. I don't need no buffer anymore. I want more physical and hybrid damage dealer, and she's going to be the one that we're going to try to pull for. And uh, after that, I might start hoarding for Xenogears or Axstar. But Axstar for me, oh man. When he comes out, this guy, you guys will understand why he's that good. Uh, and his super TMR is one amazing super TMR. On that note, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like down below. Let me know if you guys are going to be pulling for her. Uh, like I said, I know a lot of you guys don't want to pull for her. You want to keep your tickets. You want to keep your lapis. But... I'm going to be pulling for her. I'm not going to go crazy, crazy hard. But uh, hopefully we can pull one copy of her. And if we do, then it's going to be successful. On that note, guys, please subs subscribe for more content. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.